On The Ellen Show, a woman from the audience is caught on camera taking advantage of the free merchandise table by taking more than one item. Soon after, Ellen calls her out and embarrasses her in front of the whole world. That's embarrassing and everything, but you know, let that be a lesson to you, because you think... It is. You, you think nobody's watching you and you just need to be a good person. Go sit in that Ellen jail over there right now. <laughs> What's your while discussing politics and whether or not Donald Trump is fit to be the president, Kanye West is completely stumped when Jimmy Kimmel asks him why exactly he believes Trump cares about black people. You so famously and so powerfully said George Bush doesn't care about black people. It makes me wonder what makes you think that Donald Trump does or any people at all. Why don't we take a break? We'll come back and uh, Kanye West. Uh, <laughs> During this hilariously awkward and hard to watch clip from the Graham Norton show, a woman in the audience is explaining that she ditched a date with a guy so she could attend the live viewing. Soon after, the guy that she ditched appeared on the show. So I asked a girl out a couple of weeks ago and she said yes. So this is your decision now. This is you, this is you <laughs> sending a message to him. So Jessica, are we going to flip Thomas? Or are we going to let Thomas walk? Please, will you lever him off the red chair? Oh, no! <laughs> While actress Christian Stewart was on The Stephen Colbert Show, a pretty awkward and uncomfortable moment happened when Stephen took it upon himself to move her necklace away from the microphone instead of asking her to do it herself. Can I just do one thing here? I just want to take this mic and put this and maybe adjust your mic slightly. We're going to cut this part out because it's a little too intimate. Wow. But your chain... <laughs> Your chain, if you don't mind, your chain was hitting your mic and we couldn't hear you. Cool. Okay? Oh. Can we do the show now? Like, what, honestly, go with yeah. mm -hmm. All right. During this hilarious and now viral clip from the Jimmy Fallon show, Jimmy got very anxious and scared after RuPaul's reaction to referring to him as a drag queen. This is the first time a drag queen has ever been put on the uh, cover A of drag queen? <laughs> a drag queen? I am the queen of drag. <laughs> During this throwback 2007 interview with Andy Dick and Ivanka Trump on The Jimmy Kimmel Show, for some reason, mid-interview, Andy decides to lean forward and grope Ivanka's thigh. Soon after, he was dragged off the show by security. Hey, there you you play up the glitter on your legs? Oh, oh yeah. So uh, Andy, don't please. <laughs> don't touch Ivanka. Oh, wait, did I say I was single okay. and then I had a boyfriend? Hey, hey, Andy, please bye, bye, don't. Bye, 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 Donald bye, bye. Trump will kill both of us. <laughs> During this hilarious clip from The View while discussing a seemingly important and touchy subject, Whoopi Goldberg pauses to loudly pass gas. No, you, uh, oh, I was gonna say. Oh. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> You're so polite. Oh, excuse me. I'm so differential. I think Take I just blew a little frog out of there. During this clip from The Jimmy Fallon Show, Jimmy is continuously interrupting Dakota Johnson as she tries to tell a story. Eventually, she gets sick of it and is forced to call him out about it. And, then, and so you go out to walk the dog? Well, no. It's cool they... I sort of... <laughs> Do they of... allow dogs at the hotel? Aren't you supposed to let people talk on this show? <laughs> <laughs> if they know what they're talking about, yes! During this funny and awkward clip from the Seth Meyers show, Jennifer Lawrence confesses that she used to have a huge crush on Seth. She also recalls a very embarrassing situation she faced when she was going to ask him out on a date. I had a really big crush on you. Real? Okay. Yeah. I talked to the wardrobe lady about it and I was like, I think I'm going to ask Seth Meyers out. I'm going to give him my number. And she was like, honey, he's engaged. <laughs> I was like, cool, good talk. <laughs> A pretty awkward moment happened on Jimmy Kimmel's show when Jimmy played private footage from the set of Joker movie. The footage showed Joaquin Phoenix getting mad at some staff members and you can tell that he didn't appreciate him playing it. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> um yeah, Larry is the cinematographer. Mm -hmm. um, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to be private. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> A pretty awkward and funny moment happened when Sharon Osbourne's tooth fell out during this live televised episode of The Talk. Oh, 
While on Jimmy Fallon's show, Nicole Kidman recalls their incredibly awkward and uncomfortable date in the 90s. Jimmy was very embarrassed and confused because he didn't even know it was a date. Did I date Nicole Kidman? <laughs> Do we so go, I go dance? over though, and you're there in a baseball cap and like nothing, just like, <laughs> and you wouldn't talk. You didn't say anything. You were like, hey. Mm, mm, mm. Did you? Mm, mm, right? mm, I didn't yeah. say, I was you very went, nervous. Mm, mm. I didn't and say, I'm mm, like, mm, mm. okay. I didn't know this was so. a, uh, that this is a thing. I very awkward interview took place when David Spade was talking with Guy Ritchie while guest hosting Jimmy Kimmel. The problem was that Guy wasn't really adding to the conversation in any way. Cool back then. I knew it was at the DGA. Remember that? Director's Guild. Have you done this interview before? <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Okay, keep going. Um, I uh, have been to England once um, for two days. I'll tell my story first. I went to... Soon after that, David Spade went back onto the Jimmy Kimmel show where he discussed the incredibly awkward interview that he previously did. I do like the guy, and I did think he was there to be interviewed. He, he didn't seem to want to be interviewed. He didn't all. seem to want to talk to you, yeah. really, it seemed like. It was a weird thing. You would ask a question, and then, like, there was... <laughs> there was a point where I go, do you want me to talk for a while? Yeah. 